Hi, my name is Brooke Renault. I'm 11 years old, and I'm applying for seventh grade in the Acting Conservatory. My first monologue is A Thing for Nerds by D.M. Larson, and my second monologue is from Brighton Beach Memoirs by Neil Simon. I've always had a thing for nerds. All kinds. Geeky, weirdo, freak, techie, trekkie, or dork. You name it. I want to catch them all. Sorry for the Pokemon reference. I'm a bit of a nerd myself. Girl nerds are rare, but we do exist. I always hang out with nerdlings. We play Dungeons and Dragons, and I love being Dungeon Master, holding their fates in my hands. It doesn't matter how pretty you are, just the fact that you're female and like something nerdy makes you very attractive to them. Other kinds of guys could care less about me, but to nerds, I'm hot. The more I hang out with boy nerds, the more I realize the power girls have over them. There's nothing they want more than first contact with the female of their species. But with a great power comes great responsibility. And I try not to take advantage. Much. And the best thing about nerds is they give you their full attention. Pretty boys are too worried about their looks and compete for the fairest of them all. With pretty boys, there's always a fight for the mirror. With tough guys and jocks, they always want praise or worship. It's all about them. And they turn romance into a competition. Who is the lucky girl who gets me today? <sighs> Nerds are the kindest kind of guy. They have the best hearts. If you get past the overly drawn comic book heroines and overly aggressive sci-fi babes, they really care about you and who you are. You get a nerdy guy's full attention. The rest of the world slips away in your entire universe. Because no Death Star TARDIS warp drive is more exciting than a guy who gave him the time to That's why I like these guys. I feel special, important, not alone anymore. Thank you. Judge you? I can't even talk to you. I don't exist to you. I've tried so hard to get close to you, but there was never any room. Whatever you had to give went to daddy, and when he died, whatever was left you gave to... I have been jealous of Lori my whole life, because she was lucky enough to be born sick. I can never turn a light on in my room at night or read in bed because Lori always needed her precious sleep. I can never have a friend over on weekends because Lori was always resting. I used to pray I'd get some terrible disease or get hit by a car and have a leg all twisted or crumpled. And then once, maybe just once, I get to crawl into bed with you on a cold rainy night and talk to you and hold you until I fell asleep in your arms. Just once. Thank you.